Hey, good morning, Moore Medic One, and today let's talk a little bit about spark plugs. Did you know you can tell the health of your two cycle engine or four cycle for that matter just by reading your spark plugs? You should be able to tell if it's running too uh, fat, too rich, or too lean, if it's got too much oil in the gas, if you have a carburetor issue, if your air filter's clogged up, or even if your engine's burned up you should be able to tell by the spark plug. Now, all these spark plugs are the same. These are BPM 8Ys, and this came out of six different Echo pieces of equipment. And we got six different kinds of issues going on here with these spark plugs, ranging from eh, acceptable to a little bit lean, to metal contamination, to just a little bit fouled, to absolutely 100% fouled. Let's take a look at these plugs one by one. As we can tell, my first specimen here, we can look at the deposits around the rim here and they are a little bit flaky. So this engine was running just a touch rich, but it's not, it's, you know, it's runnable, it's serviceable. And if we look, we can see some deposits on the electrodes and it's a little bit brown colored in appearance. So we know that the, uh, the oil mix is probably correct. This engine probably was being run with a partially clogged air filter, but this is acceptable, uh, just nice and cocoa brown with no, you know, huge uh, deposits anywhere to be seen. Now this plug needs to be changed because it's, the gap is just too wide. Now when the gap starts to grow, your fuel mixture is not going to burn correctly. So this plug is gone. It needs to be replaced anyway. This next plug is just a little bit lean. Now it probably is okay on the fuel mix, but either we have a carburetor issue, not allowing enough fuel into the engine, or possibly an air leak, a vacuum leak, will cause them to be blister white like this. So whenever you pull a plug and it looks like this, you've, you need to do a leak down test on your engine just to make sure that you don't have any air leaks and make sure that everything's good in the fuel delivery department. My next plug here is, it's a little bit wet. This engine was low on compression. However, the fuel mix was correct. So basically the low compression is not allowing a complete burn of the spark plug or the fuel mixture. This engine still ran and still ran good, but we need to fix the low compression issues. The next plug here is pretty much toast. The surface of the plug is just dry as a bone uh, we have metal splatter, as you can tell right here, and it's got a, it's gray in appearance. This came out of an engine that had a scored piston and cylinder. All that gray is metal deposits coming off of, you know, the cylinder and the piston. As it's running, it's just putting the deposits of the metal coming off of the piston and cylinder walls onto the spark plug and melts on there. This next plug is kind of a toughie to diagnose. Uh, on one side we have light cocoa brown and if we spin it around we have some heavy fouling and look at the foulage between the, uh, the electrode and the center electrode. As you can tell, that gap is almost closed. This is incorrect fuel mix. So he's running his gas and oil mix too rich. 
This plug came out of an engine that had a fuel delivery issue. As we can tell, look at how wet it is. It's just completely saturated with fuel and uh, you would have to figure out what's going on with your fuel system whenever they come out wet like this. It's definitely super duper way rich. Possibly the carburetor is even flooding if you're having a plug look like this. And just for, for reference, here is a brand new CMR 6H that I've had rolling around in a toolbox, so it's a little bit dirty. But this is what a brand new plug should look like. Alrighty guys, we got those little plugs looked at and I hope this tutorial helped you out. And, and if it did, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and click the bell to get all my new videos. Appreciate each and every one of you and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.